Hello and welcome to yet another scholarship opportunity. If you're looking for a bachelor's or master's scholarship that covers all expenses and you are interested in studying in Australia, then this video is definitely for you. Watch this video to the end so that you can get all the necessary information. In this video, we're going to talk about the fully funded Vice Chancellor Social Champion Scholarship at the University of Canberra in Australia. This scholarship covers all costs and it is worth 50,000 Australian dollars per year. It covers your full tuition fee, you also get a free accommodation and up to 10,000 Australian dollars yearly as allowance. In this video, we'll talk about other benefits of this scholarship, eligibility, selection criteria and look at the key dates as well as how to apply to this scholarship. Without further delay, let's get started. So you can see right here, I'm at opnesnaja.com. Um, this is a scholarship opportunity and financial opportunity website. You need to visit every single day for um, opportunities all around the world. So um, right here, you can see the fully funded bachelor's and master's scholarship in Australia. And this scholarship is open already, which means that you can already start applying to this scholarship right now. And you can see right here, the level of scholarship is for masters, um, bachelors and uh, masters, and it is fully funded scholarship. And the deadline for this scholarship is 9th of October, 2022. So you have to start right away, although you still have some time, but we're going to see how to apply in the course of this video. And um, you're going to be studying at the University of Canberra in Australia. So you can make sure to go through this um, page. Uh, and then you can also look at the core values and make sure you read everything you find on the pages I'm going to show you because I've always said this it is going to help you to submit a strong application uh, Because you know more about what you are applying for Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at who can apply um, They are quite interested in those from um, Latin America um, If you are from Southeast Asia, if you are from Africa, if you are from South Asia um, you are welcome to apply to this scholarship okay and um, they want those who can prove that they have some financial issues those who would not have the finance to study abroad uh, on a normal basis so um, they want to see that you're able to prove that and let's go straight into the benefits I've mentioned it before you get up to 50,000 Australian dollars per year it covers your full tuition uh, you get on-campus accommodation and you also get about ten thousand um, uh, Australian dollars yearly for financial allowance and other miscellaneous expenses in the first year. And um, we go straight to the eligibility. For you to be eligible, um, you have to fulfill whatever is written right here. Um, you are located offshore at the time of application, which means that you are not in Australia while applying for this scholarship. And also, you should have applied or you have to apply for a program either a bachelor's program or a postgraduate program um, coursework degree at the university of canberra um, that is another eligibility you have to apply and you have satisfied the program's academic requirement you need to satisfy the admission requirement of any course you are applying to and also to be eligible for this scholarship you need to hold an offer from the university of canberra so it could either be a um, conditional offer or a provisional offer. So you need to hold an offer from the University of Canberra. You are eligible if you would need a visa to study in Australia. For example, the Australian student visa. So if you know that you need a visa like those countries I mentioned, they'll definitely need a visa to come to Australia. So that makes you eligible. So another eligibility rights here you are a new commercial student which means that you just applied for admission or you just got admitted so that is the eligibility for the scholarship um, you can also check the course eligibility specific course eligibility it might differ a little bit and lastly you can see right here the primary visa applicant dependent will not be eligible for scholarship or be able to accompany the primary visa applicant so this scholarship is is specific for um whoever gets it you can't come with your family you can come that's what is written right there so this is the eligibility criteria for this scholarship 
so i'm um, talking about the selection criteria it means that um what you need to fulfill or at least what should be in your application or you're able to demonstrate for you to get this scholarship first is financial need you have to demonstrate that you really need this scholarship to study in australia and then you have to demonstrate some other values like leadership values um, making a positive difference in your community so you can just read through this so you have to show that you are financially in need and then you also have to show that you have some leadership potential so talking about the key dates you can see right here the scholarship opened first of april and it's going to um, close uh, 9th of uh, october and the shortlisted candidates will be contacted uh, november 2022 and um, they have to go through an interview and then december 2022 the final outcome will be announced now let's take a look at how to apply so like you have seen in the eligibility for you to apply you first of all need to um, apply for a course and um, you need to get uh, admitted it's either conditional or unconditional offer so once you get that you can then go ahead to apply um, for the scholarship through the scholarship portal so first of all you want to go through the first link um, to look for the courses and you can see right here there are no application fee for the course so you can apply to a course without any application fee and there are also no application fee for the scholarship so the first thing you want to do is to go through this link um, on this page you are going to find the courses and when you find the course you apply to that course you can come back again and um, click on the link to the application portal here you can then um, submit the um, application for the scholarship the link to this page, uh, opnestnigeria.com, is going to be in the description, so you can go ahead and check it out. But right now, we're going to take a look at the courses, so I'm going to go into the link for the courses. And on this page, you can basically find the course, you can search for a course, you can see the filter right here, and you can see the different courses, uh, bachelor's courses, and you can also look for the master's courses right on this page. So you can see the graduate courses right here. So you can check through and once you find a course that interests you, this is Master of Engineering, Master of Health. So there are a lot of courses right on this university page. So you can check through it. You can see the bachelor's course at the top. So you want to go through it and um, click on the course, whichever that interests you and um, apply to that course. So the first thing you want to do is to um, select the year, academic year. Let's keep it at 23 and then um, you can also use the filter right here to search for um, whatever you want so you can select by study level undergraduate postgraduate so you can do that and you can also use study area and depending on what um, you want to study you can tick to refine the selection so for now I'm not going to do any of that and um, so if you want to apply you can just go ahead to click on the course and it takes you to the course page so you can already see apply now right here so you can click the apply now to apply you can make inquiry so just make sure to read through and you can see the requirements of the particular course and everything you need to know about this course right on this page so admission requirement, um, course requirement, um, everything you need to know basically. So you want to do that and get more information. And if you have further questions about applying to the scholarship or to a particular course, you can contact the university. I'm going to show you the contact information in course of this video. And you can also drop a comment with your questions. I will do my best to answer as much as possible. So basically that's how to apply to a course and once you are admitted you can come back to um, opnesniger.com or the scholarship link and then you can come to the application portal so this is the link to the application portal so this is the application portal right here so the first thing you want to do is to create a new account because you do not have an account and you need to create a new account and you will need some information about the course that you applied to for example your student id or your id for applying to that particular course uh, you will need it while filling the application for the scholarship so you want to do this and once you are logged in 
you can continue to fill all the forms and submit all the necessary documents. So back to openingsnigeria.com, um, you can also take a look at the uh, official web page for this scholarship. So I'm going to click on it right here. And on this page, you can read more about this scholarship, um, all the things you need to know about the scholarship. Right here at the bottom of the page, you can see questions. If you have any questions, you can send an email to this email address right here and they'll be um, ready to answer your questions. So guys, that is it for the fully funded bachelor's and master's scholarship in Australia. I would advise that you submit an application to this scholarship. There's no application fee, so you can go right away, um, put your documents together and submit an application for this scholarship. And also you can check out other videos in my channel right here. Um, you can see the Erasmus Moodle scholarship, you can go through it and the daddy pure scholarship is still open anyway if you're interested in making money online you can check this video to your left on how i made my first two thousand dollars or you can check the video to the right on how to make money on pico workers